Statistics show the average person, like my generation, let's have a million dollars. 80% of that million dollars will be gone in the last two years of life. The secret to being rich is not a college education, but can you control cash flow? Financial IQ is can you control cash flow? IQ means how big a problem can you solve? This is what financial education and financial literacy really is. Again, it starts with a financial statement. And I would say probably 95% of all college graduates don't know what a financial statement is. Here are the six basic words to financial literacy and financial education. And the six words again are income, expense, asset, liability. See, I don't really care about my FICO score. A FICO score just basically registers, are you trustworthy with borrowing money? But a bank will never say, I borrow in the hundreds of millions of dollars. A FICO store, not gonna get me there, okay? And so it's kind of a ruse. I mean, I don't, it's, it's important, but not for me. So these are the four words, income, expense, asset, liability. And the last two words are the words cash flow. And this was my poor dad, go to school, get a job, get your PhD. And so this here is cash flow. So the income comes in, and it goes out this way, first line of expense is tax. So this is a poor person's cash flow pattern. It's not how much money you make. Most people, you know, they, I don't care if you have a PhD or no school at all, but they can't control the cash flowing out through their expenses. And so that's why people like Susie Orman say, cut up your credit cards, live below your means, because you're a spendaholic. So that's a poor person. This is a middle class person's cash flow pattern. And this is where the house comes in. They, first thing, you know, most kids do when they get pay raise and all that, they buy themselves a bigger house. Oh, my house is an asset. Now who tells you that? Your real estate agent, of course. Yeah. <laughs> right, because they, they want to give you this false sense of security while you're getting screwed. Exactly. You know, but when you look at what happens with a house, a personal, I mean a personal residence, something I live in, the money comes in and goes out, and this is middle class, but it also goes out through a mortgage, mortgage payments, oh, but I don't have a mortgage. You still have taxes and you have upkeep. So money's always flowing out. So that's why your house is not an asset, it's because it's taking money from your pocket. So very simply said, assets, put money in my pocket, liabilities take money from my pocket. So I'm not saying don't buy a house, but here is a house. I started when I was 25, bought my first house, and it was an apartment, it was an investment property. I didn't live in it, I rented it out, and it put money in my pocket. So very simple, the definition of asset and liability is not the house of this, it's cash flow. Where is the cash flowing? So as a young person, <coughs> and to all millennials, or if you're old, financial intelligence is the ability to control cash flow. And that's what they don't teach you at school. They tell you to go to school, get a job. First thing is tax. Most of your money will go out through taxes in your lifetime. And then they tell you to buy a house and a car. A car is an asset. No, a car is a liability. You got insurance, gas, upkeep, and all this. Now, if you buy a, a taxi car, it could be an asset. It's cash flow. This is a poor person. Money goes out. There's a lot, we just interviewed some National Football League players who make millions of dollars in their 20s. And most of them are broke in two years because they can't control cash flow. Intelligence. IQ is can you control cash flow? Not your college degree. The college degrees are important, but they're not gonna teach you this. So the cash flow game trains you over and over and over and over again to get your money in here to get cash flow this way. So I started with this, it cost me $18,000. I paid for the credit card and I put $25 in my pocket. Okay. It's an infinite return because 
the cash flow paid for the mortgage, it paid the expenses, pays the operating costs. And I still made $25. Kim's first deal was the same. Hers was an 18,000, it was 50,000, 45,000. And they put $25 in her pocket. But Kim now owns 6,500 rental properties and she pays no tax because the income comes from here. If you have a job, you pay tax, but income, the rich get richer because when you have asset income, taxes are less. You can get it down to zero if you want, but that's financial intelligence, but can you con control cash flow, okay? So say it again, assets what? Assets put money into your pocket, liabilities take money out of your pocket. And so as a young person, just focus on that. So when you're buying a new house, you gotta say, is this gonna take money or put money? You buy an apartment house, is it gonna take money or put money? That's, yeah. that's it, it's cash flow. Six, six most important words for financial intelligence and IQ is income, expense, asset liability, but it's really cash flow. So this is the basic of financial intelligence, financial literacy, stuff like this. So once again, the six words you have to know and be masters of, income, expense, asset, liability, cash flow. You can control cash flow, that's financial intelligence, financial IQ, and financial literacy.